Hello, this is James Fox once again with another video tutorial in Microsoft Excel. This tutorial is going to demonstrate how we're going to make a drop down box in Microsoft Excel. I have three categories here the month, the day, and the year, and I have drop down boxes beneath those in which I can select the month of the year, and the day of the month, and the year that I have included in my list. So now we're going to get started on how we got to this point. Okay, now the first thing you have to do is simply develop your category. And as we had before, the month, the day, and the year. Now the very next thing you must, must do is develop your list. And I'm going to show you a shortcut in how to develop a list for the months of the year. I'm going to type in the first two months, then I'm going to highlight those months, and I'm going to hover my mouse over the lower right hand corner of that selection until I see the plus sign, then I'm going to click, hold, and drag all the way down to December. I'm going to do the same thing for the days of the months. Now you can only do this when Microsoft Excel recognizes a series such as months of the year, numbers, maybe days of the week. So once again, I typed in the numbers 1 and 2, hover your mouse over the lower right hand corner until you see the plus sign, and I'm going to click, hold, and drag until I get to 31. And finally, I'm going to do that for the year. We're going to start with, let's say, 2000. I'm going to type in 2001, highlight both of them, and we're going to drag it all the way down until the year, let's say, 2015. Now, the very next thing you must do is you have to name your list. Now, since I already have this list highlighted, I'm going to go over to the name box, type in the word year, and hit enter. I'm going, to do this, I'm going to do the same thing for the days of the month. Highlight it first, go over to the, to the name box, type in day, and hit enter. Last but not least, the months of the year, highlight it, name box, title. Now once you've done all that, you're going to click on the cell where you want the list to be located. So for month, we're going to click in the cell beneath the word month. Then we're going to go to the data tab. And in the Data 2 section, you're going to click on Data Validation. When the Data Validation dialog box comes up, you'll see an Allow field, and beneath that you'll see a drop-down box. Click the word List. It's going to open up a source field, and in that source field you're going to type in the equal sign and the name of the list, and then click OK. Next, you're going to go to your next category. Once again, click on Data Validation. Select List from the drop-down menu. In the Source field, type in the name of the next list. Don't forget to type in the equal sign. And last, the list for year. Data Validation, click on List, equal sign, and type in the word Year. Click OK. Now as you can see, I have all of the options from that list in my drop-down menu. Now if you need more drop down boxes in the rows beneath your category, hover your mouse over the lower right hand corner until you see the plus sign. Click, hold and drag all the way down to your desired point. And you'll have selections all the way to that point. And that's how you make a drop down box in Microsoft Excel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.